What's up, my name is Jay, and in this video, I wanna teach you how you can use the WordPress REST API, okay? So this is gonna be the very basic how you can get started, but it's very helpful. So now I'm here in the REST API handbook, and you can see I'm in the reference part, which they give us all the endpoints, which are very helpful. So right now, my goal for this video is to get all the posts and get that data and do whatever whatever I want with that data, right? So here you can see the endpoint, but then you're asking, okay, so how can I get that? Fine, so I'm gonna go here and you can see this URL right here. So right now at the end, you can see the endpoint, right? What they're telling us here. This is the endpoint. And now we're getting all the posts from my website, okay? As you can, I'm in localhost, but maybe you're using a domain. So I'm gonna go to my pages here my WordPress dashboard, as you can see, I only have uh, testing the API page that I created. And if I preview this page, um, it's just a normal page is have like a title and some um, Lauren Epson text, nothing special, just a regular page. Okay, I'm gonna click edit the page. I'm gonna go there. All right, so normal. And my goal is to create like a template here. Um, that I can just select and if I select that template it's going to show my posts um, Which are getting all that data using the API cool. So I'm gonna go to my code. Let's open my text editor and You can see all my files here. This is the 20 Which one is it 2016 theme? All right, so I'm gonna create a page So I'm gonna just create a new file here. I'm gonna save it and uh, make sure you are in your theme file. So let me take a look here. It's 2016, or right here, this is my theme. So I'm gonna call it whatever I want, honestly. Um, let's say um, awesome page dot PHP, right? Save that. All right, so I'm here, it's all blank. So right now I'm gonna save it as a template, as a page, WordPress page template. So I'm just gonna copy something here and paste it. And this is how you actually create a page template. So easy. So here you can see cool page, all right? Um, you can say whatever you want. Let's see, um, let's change it to awesome page. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go back to WordPress. Let's reload this page. All right, and now if you go to template, you can see I have my awesome page. So I'm gonna go there and let's preview that page. Let's see how it looks. There's nothing here, just blank because there we, we don't have uh, code here. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my WordPress header. So I'm gonna do get, and you don't have to get the header if you, would, if you don't want to, honestly. Get header and I'm gonna close my PHP right there. I'm gonna save this. All right, let's reload this page. All right, and now you can see we have something and this is because we have a header. So we have a logo, the name and your slogan. So this is a good start. And now I wanna add all my posts in here, but I'm gonna do it using the WordPress API. So let's go back to this page. And by the way, this is a page template, so you can add the footer, you can add whatever you want in here um, with some PHP code. For now, I'm gonna use JavaScript because it's what I like. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can do the same thing with PHP, okay? So let's go after you close the PHP, right here, I'm gonna open and close the script tag. All right, just like that. And now in here, you can add whatever JavaScript you want. So right now we need to get that URL, the one with the post. So let's do const, we're gonna create a variable, let's call it URL equals two, and we need to get that, let's go back here, and we need to get this URL, let's copy, and let's paste it right there. All right, so we need that, and now we're gonna need some empty diff that we can put all the content. So Let's call it, let's put it up here after PHP and let's call it 
let's div the class of um latest posts or something like that this can be whatever you want it doesn't have to be that all right so i have an empty div and then inside this div i'm gonna put all that data so we're gonna see it later how it looks all right so let's get this div now so let's call it posts container or it can be whatever you want let's get that document dot query selector and now we need to get that thing let's just copy and paste it from here there you go all right now that we have that we can start our awesome code so i'm gonna use fetch to get all that data and what we need we need the url which is this right here url oh my gosh what's going on there you go and then after the you after you get that url we're gonna do then we're gonna get a response by the way if you don't understand how i'm doing the fetch and all this um i have a video tutorial on the description of this video if you want to learn about fetch and how you can get apis and stuff um so you get a response and then i'm gonna run a function return that re that response but it needs to be JSON file. Okay, and now we're gonna do another add then. So after you return the response, um, the JSON response, then what we do, all right? So we do, we're gonna get all that data and we're gonna return something. So let's, let's taste, let's just, just console log something, console log that data. All right, let's save that. Let's see, let's see what we have right now. Let's go back to this page. It's right here. Let's open the console. Let's reload this page. All right, we have an error. What is happening here? Um, a typo, of course. There's a typo, there's always a typo. Let's save it again. Response, all right, looks good now. Reload. All right. So here we go, we have an array, which is like a list. And it seems like we have three posts. So let's go and let's see if we really have three. Let's go, yep, and we have three. So lazy loading images, parcel JS, WordPress Gutenberg. All right, so let's close this. Let's see if that's true. Let's go to the first one. And there you go title lazy loading images we have dates we have so we have a lot of data that we can get all right so this is working let's go back so we don't want a console log we want to actually get that data and put it inside latest posts right here in this diff so let's go back let's open and close brackets and what i'm gonna do because data is like an array i'm gonna do data dot map And now I'm gonna add a parameter that will be used to modify each single item inside the array. I'm gonna call it post. And then another arrow function. Opening, and closing in brackets again. And now we're gonna create a template using the backticks. Um, so let's go ahead and create a variable first. So const, let's name it, I don't know, inner content is going to be like the content inside this latest post is equal to backticks. I'm going to create a template. All right, so let's put a space here. It looks better like this way. So it's going to be an li. I want a list of things. And then it's going to be the title, h2. And then it's going to be like a link. I want to I want to I want a link. All right, just like this, and then close the li. Just close that list element. All right, looks good. So the title, how we can get this title. So let's go back 
and you can see that it says, um, let me see, what is it? It says title, and then if you open that, it says render it, and then you can get the title. So let's go back and let's do dollar sign brackets. And here we can do post, which is right here is gonna be post dot title dot render it. All right. And then um, we need to do kind of the same thing with the link. Actually here, I want to be read more when you click there. And here dollar sign, same thing, dollar sign. Open and closing brackets. It's gonna be post dot and where is the link? Let's go back. Where is it here? Oh, it's link. All right, that, that was easy, link. Let's go back in here. And let's do, we have here this variable post container. So let's do post container dot inner HTML. So whatever HTML is inside, we're gonna do plus equal inner content. So remember inner content is this, all this right here. All this is inner content and post container is this empty diff, okay? If you're confused about this, I know this is for me was confusing at the at, when I was starting, but I'm gonna post a link so you can read a little bit more about how is how this works. Um, so I'm gonna save that and let's see what happens. All right, let's reload the page. And look at this. So we have, let's see right here, let's, inspect our element. So we have latest post, and then we have li, we have the h2, we have the link. Perfect, so it's already working. Um, there's something that I wanna do. I wanna add the some text here, which we can get, let's go back here. Um, the excerpt, so we can get the excerpt, and you can see it's a little bit of, um, it's like a HTML, so we have a paragraph and all that stuff. So let's let's do that. So after the H2, let's go ahead and say, actually, do not add don't add a paragraph because it's already there. So let's just do dollar sign post so excerpt and then render it. So let's save that and let's reload the page. And there you go. Now we have um, the title, a little bit of text, and then the link to that specific post. All right, so this is in JavaScript. So now I'm just gonna comment this out. And I'm gonna copy and paste a PHP code. So I'm just gonna copy, and I'm gonna put it down here. And you can see that is actually pretty simple in PHP, and we're kind of doing the same thing that we did in JavaScript. You create um, a variable, kind of the same thing we did in JavaScript, and then you get that data in JSON, and then you echo out all that um, HTML, um, getting it from the post. So I'm gonna save this, and let's reload the page to see if it works. Yeah, so it's the same thing. I'm gonna uncomment this JavaScript and see what happens. So I'm gonna save that, let's reload the page. So you can see that um, it's working and it looks exactly the same. We're just calling the post here in JavaScript and calling and getting that post here in PHP and they all works. And remember, you can do this on a different domain, different website, you can get your post and put it on a different website. You can get, um, you can get the images, you can get a lot of things from this API. So I hope this helps a little bit. All the code that I created here is available somewhere. The link is in the description of this video. So I hope you learned something. That's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.